Syrian militias backed by the U.S. have reportedly cut a key road out of the de facto ISIS capital in Syria. The city of Raqqa is now surrounded on three sides. The only way out for ISIS fighters is across the Euphrates River. In Iraq, American-backed forces continue to battle ISIS in western Mosul over the weekend. Since late last month, more than 45,000 refugees are reported to have fled the city. Charlie Daggett is in London following the growing humanitarian crisis. Charlie, good morning. Good morning. Iraqi forces say the past 24 hours have seen some of the heaviest fighting yet in the battle to retake Mosul. As they push deeper into heavily populated areas, civilians are paying the price. They've lost everything in the desperate race to get away, including the shoes on their feet. This man says it was raining so hard and ISIS opened fire as they tried to escape. As they ran away, they lost their shoes in the mud. Freezing, pouring rain has not only added to the misery of tens of thousands now made homeless, heavy cloud cover has complicated air support for U.S.-backed Iraqi forces. That makes it harder to detect and destroy ISIS car bombs like this over the weekend. As Iraqi forces fight it out in the congested neighborhoods of western Mosul, ISIS militants are battling back with everything they've got including suspected chemical weapons. The U.N. is calling for an investigation into a possible chemical weapons attack after 12 people, including women and children, were treated for possible exposure to what the Red Cross described as blistering agents. What you can see on their body was extreme um, uh, body reactions. For example, there are blisters. Uh, a lot of them came coughing, uh, uh, vomiting, um, redness in the eye. It took months for Iraqi forces to drive ISIS out of eastern Mosul all the way up to the Tigris River, which carves the city in two. The densely populated western side is where ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi declared himself the leader of the so-called caliphate in July 2014. ISIS has vowed to defend it to the death. It's never mattered how many civilians may stand in the way. A victory in Mosul may deal a final blow to ISIS in Iraq. It was the biggest city under ISIS control, and losing it will mean the group no longer holds territory in that country in any meaningful way. Gail? Charlie Daggett, thank you. Reporting from London.